how is it being new dads? Oh my goodness, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. I'm under a lot of pressure to have my toenails and fingernails painted. Oh, oh. look at you, y'all are nailing it. <laughs> how do you think your daddy did? Great. You did great? I'm cancer free. Did you have your pet scan? showing his daughter love and encouragement by slipping her daily inspirational lunch notes like this. Addison, you're a diamond dear. No one can break you. It all started when this dad became suspicious that his daughter was being bullied at school. To date, he's written over 600 notes of positivity, and now he's helping other parents find encouraging words to share with their children. So let's talk to this dad and his 12-year-old daughter. What's up, Chris? What's up, Addy? Awesome. Hi! So, Chris, when did you notice Addie was maybe having issues with bullying? Yes, yeah, so uh, fourth grade, it was her fourth school in five years. And wow. I just knew something didn't feel right. So on the third day of school, um, I slipped her a little note just to tell her that you can make a difference in anybody's life. And I put it in her lunchbox, and that's where it began. And a couple weeks later, we were running late uh, one morning, and she said, hey, you're forgetting my lunch note. And that's when I knew that she was actually reading what I was writing. Chris, your notes are helping other parents as well, right? Yeah, so uh, in 2018, her uh, middle school teacher and principal actually suggested I put them in a book. And it's called Lucky Enough. And it's those first 160 notes or so from fourth grade. Um, unfortunately, none of your quotes or lyrics made it in that year. But uh, this week, there was a special Kelly Clarkson message for sure. Yes! I love it. You've great taste. <laughs> well, Jonathan, give us the story behind the lightning bolt haircut in that picture. So Hunter was born with a condition called craniosynostosis, and that is where the plates in the skull fuse uh, sooner than they should or fuse prematurely, and it causes some abnormal growth. So in Hunter's situation, it caused his skull to grow uh, long or elongated, and it wasn't growing wide. So we went to the doctor to have it checked out. And they told us the news that we weren't wanting to hear, that he would have to have um, an invasive reconstructive skull surgery. And so he'd had that when he was two years old, he's five years old now. And so the story behind the haircut um, was he asked me, he's like, do you think that my lightning bolts are cool? And I was like, dude, absolutely. I wish I had some lightning bolts. And he was like, well, then why don't you go get some? Why don't you have them if they're so cool? And so that's exactly what I did. We went to the barber shop, and I asked them to match the, the lightning bolt pattern um, in the exact formation of his scars. Well, I'm telling you what, man. I don't know if you're into superheroes like Iron Man and all those guys, but I'm, I think that you look like a superhero with it. It looks like a really cool thing that people go and get their hair done. And, I, and thank you so much, guys, because y'all sharing that moment it really does help people kind of embrace what might be different about them, but makes them stand out in a really cool way. So Michael, how did you get started making clothes, Reva? Uh, so I've always been creative since I was a kid. Um, my creativity, I always say, saved my life. It's um, how I kind of cope with feelings of not um, having my father raise me. So when I became a dad, I was trying to figure out how I could actually bond with Ava. Um, so my sister was sewing, and I just decided that I wanted to try it too. Um, went to the thrift store, um, purchased some women's clothing, upcycled it for Ava, and just put it on her. She started naturally posing and modeling. And here we are now, seven years later, still doing it together. So Ava, how do you feel about the clothes your dad makes you? Um, I feel um, wonderful in the clothes that my dad makes for me. Um, I feel confident, I feel amazing, and I feel like I'm in a whole new world. Um, my favorite dresses that my dad has made for me is from the Daddy Daughter Dance. And he has inspired me to start sewing myself. I have a cool pink sewing machine. Um, and my dream is to go to FIT and create my a fashion yes. um, wow. design. Um, but Michael, I understand other dads have been reaching out to you as well, right? Yeah, so when I started this journey, my one of my purposes was to actually encourage other fathers to bond and engage and be very present with their, with their kids, especially their daughters. Um, so th through this experience, I've had dads reach out wanting, wanting to learn how I started. Um, I'm always proud to kind of share my fatherhood experience and 
especially proud to be a girl dad. Well, that's what happened to six-year-old Ella this year on her birthday. She walked through the wardrobe and came upon a recreation of Harry Potter's Diagon Alley. There's an owl shop, a Quidditch supply store, and so much more, it's incredible. This was the inspired work of her dad, a single father who spent months putting it together. We have him dialing in from London. Hi, Dylan, how you doing? Hi, Kelly, how are you? Yeah, we're good, thanks. So let's go in and check out your Diagon Alley. I'm, so, I'm a Harry Potter nerd, man, so this is so cool. <laughs> cool. Right, okay, we'll take you through. Right, you ready, Ella? We'll take everyone through here. Here we go. This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? Cheers. There you go, guys. <laughs> Have you got something in there to give to Kelly? Oh, do you? <laughs> Shall I get it? I'll get it. Here we go. I love it. So, Kelly, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's teamwork. So she's made you a little a little bag um, with some of her favourite things from her favourite shops, which she wants to send. She wants me to send it to you by Al. So I'll do my best. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much, Dylan and Ella. I'm liking your post right now. Okay, so we all know breakups suck, but 22-year-old Kenzie from San Francisco has discovered the perfect cure, all thanks to her dad. Just check out this TikTok post. Your dad seems amazing. Is this like a tradition that if you ever have a breakup, he takes you to Disneyland? It's a beautiful thing. So basically I had this Minnie Mouse doll when I was little and my parents passed it down to me from a daughter they had before me who died when she was a baby. And so I was never able to meet my sister and I felt that this Minnie Mouse was the only connection I was going to ever have to her. So I just became obsessed with Minnie Mouse and all things Disneyland. So Disneyland is just like a really, really special place for me and my whole family because of that. And so wow. come my first breakup in high school, my dad was like, I need to cheer her up. And so he took me to the happiest place on earth and it worked like a charm. Come my second big breakup in college, he knew exactly what to do this time as he had learned. And he took me to Disneyland again this time. My mom came along as well and we all just experienced the magic together. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I love your family. And that's a beautiful full circle moment with the Minnie Mouse thing and tying you with Disneyland. That's a beautiful thing that your family will have forever. Th thank you so much for sharing with us.